full coverage, your favorite podcast with Manny Mue and Laura Lee. Woo, woo. But today, Ooh. we have a special guest. Oh, okay. We have Miss Jackie Ida here today. Hi. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Hey. 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 You know, I used to like literally do that on my video. <laughs> Because Jackie would do it, I was like, I would start the video, I'm like, Jackie, 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 Jackie. <laughs> like, Jackie's name it's is not even- It's the best hype song. It, it honestly, is. really it's is. My, it's an actual song, though. Like, it's Wait, not what? really. Yeah, it's an actual song. I, I was 100% that. sure no. that was yours. And funny enough, the like the artist is Jackie O. Like, she was oh, a rapper. What? She was a rapper from Florida, and it was a Yin Yang Twin song. Are you? And the intro was like, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Wait, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You probably heard it before. I think I have You probably heard it before. It's like this is copyright something around your school. ankles. Da, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, they they sampled that part of the song in that song. Okay, because that's you're where I've thinking heard it. of Salt Shaker. Yes. it's not okay, the same got song. Okay, got it, got it. I know. Oh. Oh. Jang, 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 so they it. took Bo that jang. part. They took that part and put it in the song. Why are we yes. at a club right now? The thing, the thing <laughs> you Why are we literally know? clubbing right Mine is now? now but it's you fine. learn something it's new every day. Yes, it's a song. Yeah, there it is. I love that. Iconic. I'm actually really excited, you guys. So we have Jackie here. We've known Jackie for literally. Ever? Day one. Day, day one. one. Wait, Almost do, day one. When did we meet? Because actually, I don't remember when I met you. Because I'm thinking about the photo we have, the first photo we have together. And it's like us like smiling. Photo? And it's literally, I'm wearing glasses and I'm like, <laughs> you know when you take that the high photos France, from like was this? It? Was oh, it no, no, it was at an event. <laughs> no, you know the angle that you're like, <laughs> not the angle. <laughs> <But> the <laughs> angle this? No, but, yes. but why do we retire that angle? That angle still hits though. And no, it does. It's because like, it makes my jaw look bomb. Snatched. I mean, we need to go back to We that. were onto something with that angle. There, no, there, we really were. Things, were. things were happening with that things angle. Things were happening. We should, Wait, we're so when it. did you guys meet? What I'm trying to think of the event. I don't remember. Was it like a Two-Face event potentially? Like a two piece no, dinner? I don't know why I just keep thinking of like one of the Jouet trips. Okay. Mm, when you that said could be picture, it. you wearing glasses, that's what I keep thinking of. Mm. But maybe I'm wrong. But that was know. that was like pre like that that was like my pre evolution. Yeah. When I was glasses before my teeth, before my hairline. We I don't want to talk about that time. Everybody's got a pre evolution. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my pre-evolution. Oh my well, we're going to talk about today. That's why me and Jackie brought you here. <laughs> You're like, we're actually having an intervention. Actually, intervention. actually let's go Turn ahead and the dive mic in. off. <laughs> Manny, Manny, you've had too much work. But <laughs> and it, we need help. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. But we're going to be here. We just want to interview Jackie and just have fun and chill. Well, when did I meet you? Life. I feel like it was way before me. I definitely met you first. Uh -huh. mm. I met you through Nura, right? Never. Probably. Uh. Probably. No, because I, I don't know why I feel like it was like, a, oh, you know her too? Mm. Yeah. I feel like I remember having that moment. But I remember when you first moved to LA. Yep. And you didn't live in LA. You lived in the IE, right? Yep. Correct. I don't know. I have the worst memory. Honestly, Me I too, did But too. that was also like nothing. almost seven years ago. That was a long time so ago. So that was a really That's long what we're time trying, ago. That's what we're trying to say is that like we've known each other for that so long. long. It's like three apartments ago, four cars ago. Period. No. <laughs> That's Pre-Invisalign. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, literally. For me, you, you, all of us. Different. The, I was in San Diego and yeah. I was driving up I remember constantly. that. I was yes. always driving up to do everything. You would oh say at Patrick uh -huh, sometimes. Do you remember that? It's too much. It's too much. Yeah, we, I mean, we all made it happen. Like we, we all try to make our dreams happen, happen, and we did. Period. That's what you do, mm -hmm. and that's what you, you know? do. Exactly. Yep. But we're gonna start off with the pee in the pit of the week. Ooh. So we have to. Okay. So we have, we like to do this where it usually will be like what happened this week. But I like the peak and pit even more. Okay. Because you get to talk about like a good thing and like a bad thing. Bad thing. Yeah. We always like to start with good news. Always good. Oh. First. Do I have to start? Yeah. I you're the like guest. You okay. You have to start now at this point. <laughs> so I was gonna say my peak was Valentine's Day because mm. naturally. Romance. Just had Valentine's we, yes. Day. But I would say this morning I was rushing to get here and thank you guys for accommodating, by the way. Oh my god, of course. course. Like, thank you course. Of course. I'm queen of being late. <laughs> and Dennis on the way, me rushing to get here, it was just like, oh, like he kept asking me, like, you should eat breakfast. Like, are you gonna eat breakfast? You should breakfast because he knows I cannot function without food. Yeah. yeah. And he made sure that I had like something to eat on my way here. It was really sweet and thoughtful. Wait, that's so cute. Yeah. It's honestly yeah. little things. Little small things like that. Those so are that the was the biggest thing. Today's peak, at least. That's so cute. Um, that's really sweet. Hit yesterday. I was having a downward spiral. No, wait, why? <laughs> no. Like one of those, like a personal downward? It's just a PMS thing. Um, it's just like a, everything is, is wrong in life. Yep. Like I would be like, that's making me really emotional. 
<laughs> the pink, that, that, the pink is pinky. Just for no, just for no reason. I feel that, God. and it crashes yeah. your whole day. It was just a, there was just a lot happening yesterday, mm. but today I was fine. I woke up and I was just like, damn, I was kind of tripping. Oh. And I just Every like time got I have a PMS day, I never blame it on PMS. I'm like, it's for sure not that. It's everyone else. Everyone oh else my god, for sure <laughs> not definitely that. not me. Like, definitely yeah, not. and then at, like two days later, I'm like, fuck, that was a PMS. You know what though? I feel like it's not really what you're reacting to that makes it so like dramatic i mm. feel like it's just like the feelings are valid yeah it's just how i respond to them i question sometimes it's mm. minor you know way more I mean? like, aggressive it's, it's just way more overhyped uh-huh Got it. arguably a hangnail sucks but like yes did i have to cry for three hours about it you know this is just an Got example Got just an example. Yep. like no and yeah. i like to hear it because i can't relate on this way suck. yeah you can't yeah. relate to it and and mm. i feel like a lot of times people love to be like well it's not an excuse it's like well like it actually is, it is but it's actually valid. like an, it like almost like you can't help you it. cannot help it yeah so that was my pit wow so, actually yeah. like i because i obviously cannot have a period i don't have a period that's such a shame i, <laughs> I, I, I like I, people would be more compassionate about I do, that though no yeah. i literally it's do a too. very normal part of life mm-hmm. and it's yes. not something to be ashamed of but yeah. it's also it like happens. just being empathetic too like i can't you Absolutely. know relate in that way mm-hmm. but i can be sympathetic in the way be like oh i understand like you're going through this right now it sucks and it's like a monthly thing like yeah. Yeah. it's terrible it's not like it's an like it easy thing it comes too often I feel way too often like, you're like yeah, why? once a month is a lot do we have to have this no literally and I'm not saying that periods are terrible I'm saying it's terrible that you have to go to like emotional the, the whole, roller coasters yeah. all the, the drama that literally with so I literally was like yeah. that's terrible and I'm like no periods aren't terrible we love periods periods are good but yeah. the emotional roller coaster exactly. of like periods like that sucks they come with a lot of baggage yeah it does. what's mm-hmm. your peak and peak of the week mine <laughs> <laughs> why do you ask more right after me <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, I said, oh, Lord, I'm so sorry I'm so sorry god dang <laughs> Okay. Speaking of periods. So mine's interesting. So this is my peak. I got all my lip filler dissolved. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, can you hold on? Question. Okay, question. I'm not trying wait, to sound wait, ignorant. Wait. Can you Don't. fully actually remove it? Like fully. Yes, fully. and I'm gonna tell you the, my experience and like all the details because I think give it, even give it. though I'm actually very not everyone gets it. Okay, so I ha- got lip filler six years ago and it was mm. half a syringe so very very little only in my upper lip none of my bottom because my bottom lip is pretty decently full but my upper lip didn't match it at all so i was like That's just annoying. a just a yes, little tweaky just yeah. a little and I'll, it was no big deal it looked great about a year went by it was kind of gone like mm-hmm. it, my lip went back down so i was like i'll do another half syringe i did it so about five years ago i got the other half syringe and then it migrated all up in here so when i put so on so annoying oh so fucking annoying so annoying let me tell you know you. what okay can i put in a request a yes. future episode just like the evolution of like facial filler non-invasive plastic surgery like the and like how it's and, gotten yes, yes. yeah i the was peaks actually, and yes yeah. like how it literally like skyrocketed and then sorry i didn't mean to cut you off no, it's true. It's true. I'm so That's what we're doing. We're talking. It. and i think there's so much that we don't know about how filler does move. Mm-hmm. Don't nobody tell no you that. No one told me. Plucking and, st- you know, like, no, no one's one's telling you that. Me. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, five years later, you don't even recognize yourself. So that that was was even a year. Yeah, sucking a puff in. I, I like a puff in. My upper lip no, don't make like that a face. <laughs> <laughs> don't make that face. Okay, Manny. Suddenly you look like a puff I in. I see what time it is. Okay. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sucks to suck. My upper lip. <laughs> my upper lip. You're not serious. You're not serious. <laughs> I play too much. I do. Play too much. We love it. We love it. Okay, so it migrated to here. Oh, migrated to my upper lip. How long did it take from when you first got it? A year, you said? Um, to migrate. To migrate, yeah. Mm, Yeah, I would say maybe like a year, and but the the first round didn't really do that, and they were like, "You'll metabolize it quickly." I Mm. did. My lip kind of went back down really quick, and I was like, "Mm." so I was like, "I'll do another half syringe." So I'm supposed to do right, like, and it was the same type of filler, exact same (gasps) Juvederm, Juvederm, Uh, uh, but. uh, in my education on it, because I 21 questioned the girl. She was amazing. Um, by the way, I sat here with a lump in my lip, upper lip, for five years because I was so terrified of the pain I was going to go through because everyone says it's... It's painful? Th- it's like acid in your acid. lips. Acid. They say it's essentially it's like as if you an like acid. like acid in there dissolving. That turns Whoa. the filler into water and your mm. body just gets rid of it. That's it's what painful the- though? So excruciatingly painful. Karen even told me she got a full like YouTube video. I watched it. It mm-hmm. fucking traumatized me. So I was like, I can't... Oh. 
oh I put God. it off for five years and just was so insecure. I'd only like show mostly if you look at my Instagram, it's like this half my face because I'm hiding the huge hump because yeah. I'm such a dumb bitch instead of just fucking dealing with it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'll You're just like, fucking hide this half it. of my face for five years. Honestly, it was, that seems logical, right? It was, honestly, I didn't even notice it though. I noticed it every day. Wow. Every fucking day. You know day. your body no, better you than know, yes. yeah, exactly. You know how it is. You like, know yeah. It. yeah. Ooh, it ate me up. So I finally got the guts. I went to Kate Somerville, which by the way, they're, oh, they're fucking bomb. They do that there? Mm-hmm. Not really. Yes and no. They're kind of like, not our, not what we want to do here, but we'll do it for you. We'll fix you up. You know what I mean? They'll give you like Botox and stuff too. They do I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, and they do all of it. That was uh, nice. That it's so nice. is what they're good at. But oh, as far as to feeling, they're great at that okay. too, but they don't really advertise that. But huh. they're like, we'll help you out. So um, she, I go in there, I'm like sweating. I'm like, girl, I know you're about to put me through so much. And she goes, yeah. oh, we numb. We numb you. That's what I was going to ask. Wait, like, I was going to ask that too. Now confused. they do. They used to not know. Oh, God. Why though? Like, why do they not numb you? I guess because now this the solution sick. they make sick. This is sick. That's, man. that's actually like demonic. It's I think they want to teach you a lesson. I think they honestly uh, they're like, don't want to teach people a lesson. They're probably like, she seems like she hasn't done too much. We'll go ahead and give her the numbing. <laughs> if she gets crazy, she's getting the spice. She's getting the spice. Yeah. She's getting the spice. It's getting hot. But so oh. I, she literally was like, it has lidocaine mixed in it now. So oh. by the time I prick you, you're not going to feel anything. And I sure didn't. She poked me here and ran the needle all the way from here to my cubits bow. Yes. Oh You're yeah. Lying. You can hear things like popping <gasps> as she's like jamming it. In. Yes. Trauma. Wait, no God. Way. I didn't feel anything, so it was fine. And then she does it over here, and I was black and blue. My whole upper lip. Look, I had a mustache because I was black here from bruising. From bruising, no, but Annika? I felt nothing. Oh my god, girl. Oh my god, you feel it. Use some Arnica tablets, honey. <laughs> oh my god, I love Arnica tablets. Arnica. Oh, let me say something. Arnica is like the skincare's what is best Arnica? kept secret. Okay, so it I is. consider I call it like cucumber in a bottle. Bottle. That doesn't really make any sense. But like <laughs> cucumber is like calming for the skin. Okay. It is soothing, cooling. So the one that I use is for my esthetician. It has cucumber uh, mixed in it. But Arnica it. is basically like it's like a it's like neosporin for your skin. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. It's a healing. Never like, heard of it. Healing. I need it. That. So like let's say you just got a chemical peel and girl, it's just giving like I cannot see you in five days because oh, you're red or your skin is like a good one. really irritated like I don't care how sensitive your skin is Arnica literally works for everyone it's wow. great but it's also known to be great for bruising oh yep, okay well I'm gonna get it because I might I see just and she told me like my I know people who have done six rounds of dissolving because they have so much filler <gasps> they found Juvederm in a woman's face for 10 years so everything they tell you about filler is a fucking lie that shit stays in your face I'm confused how much do you how- Literally, wait, 10 years. Confused. Well, I'm sure this person, whoever it was, she kept getting filled was and filled on top of <laughs> filling on top of the filler. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a camera moment, though. See, that's the. <laughs> yep. So she kept, Ten so she just kept going and so the building woman, on top of it. She literally told me, she oh was like, let me, God. let me educate you on fillers. I was like, please, someone, because I'm a fucking idiot. But, anyways, uh-huh, uh-huh. she was like, they last forever. It's bullshit talking about they metabolize out. She was like, that's why that lump's been in your upper lip for five years and it's going to stay there until you dissolve it. And she said, anyone that's getting lip filler every three years, you should get your whole lip dissolved and start fresh. Oh, oh that's a good tip. That's, that's a, a really good, good tip. Yeah. I did not know she that was like, at all. You should have not be top. building on top. She was like, you should not be doing that. It's hard to get rid of that way. So, that's so good to know, Laura. That's like a got good my upper advice. Lip. Yeah, diffused. Uh-huh. Um, I'll probably diffuse it one more time and then uh-huh. I'll pump it back up. I'm just kidding. Oh, period. Okay, period. Yeah, what you doing? Are we going to do another type or something? Like Juvederm Well, now still? that I'm so educated and I feel like I know what I'm doing and I'm not going to do Juvederm because mm-hmm. she okay. said Juvederm is so good for the face, but she said your lip moves so much. Mm. That's why it migrates. She was like, try wrestling. So I'm going to okay, try that. Okay. I don't know, but she was like, Juvederm's great for like other areas that you that don't move. That doesn't move as much. Yeah. Got it. So. So much to know. I'm actually yeah. kind of shocked. I did not know like so any much of that, to, know. to be honest. Yeah. I always wow. really got Botox, so I never really got filler. I've gotten a little bit here on like my jawline mm-hmm. and a little bit under my eyes, but after I did it one time, I never stopped doing it. Yeah. Because one of my, here, I feel like it made my eyes look darker underneath the eyes. Thank you. I've heard that too. It, I feel like it went mm-hmm. darker. Yeah, I've heard and then that here, too. so I got filler here and I didn't mind it here, but I got it a little bit here to like kind of make it like match. Mm-hmm. But here, it like migrated to give me this. Whoa. <gasps> Under, wow. It gave me a little like gobble all the way on the on your under chin? on my under like literally in in this section right here. I was like, oh I didn't have that. I literally got lipo under here. 
to get rid so of it. So I'm like, this is at, this is post. Oh, so I'm like, oh no, that's not there. This that's wasn't there. When you did the lipo after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Damn. oh wait, no, like that. It literally moved then. People just like, like I just didn't know that any of. Yeah, this you don't know, and then you go to professionals to ask these questions, yes. mm -hmm. and they're telling you they're like all like, it's kinds fine. of fluff. It's fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, what so, a world we live in. What a world. What a world. What, a what world was my we live pit? In. Did you say a pit? She did. She already gave I her did. pit. I did. What was mine? You didn't say it. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> you didn't even say what your fucking pit was. Uh, Give us your pit. Let's see here. More of that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that cackle. That was iconic. That, that was a cackle. It wasn't a laugh. That was a cackle. <laughs> Something had to happen horrible. Let me think about it. Something terrible. Or Something maybe terrible inconvenient. Trash. Inconvenient. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I think I have one now. Oh, well, my cat killed pit. two birds yesterday, but I mean that's horrible for the birds, not me. Two, two. But that's She's also inconvenient. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I literally picked convenient. it up and flung it. It was <gasps> dead. Oh. <laughs> Laura, I literally deal with this. Wait, you did or the cat flung it? Me, Laura. What? I know. I'm a wild animal. Literally. But like, also, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> what are you supposed to fucking do in that situation? No, honestly, I, I thought you had to like call a hotline and they pick it up or something. Jackie, I would fucking scream if you called if you, you called a hotline and said there are hey, dead, they're dead birds. birds. She, she does I can't all the time. even all pick the up time. a bit cricket. No. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm let alone. Yeah. I literally bird? picked up a live mouse by its <gasps> tail out of my pool no, with my bare hand no, and stop. threw it over the fence to Laura, save it. I know. Laura. If we're in the wilderness, Laura's gonna survive. Let me tell you I'm something. Dead. If something you happens, might. call me. No, literally, I'm like Laura. There is a dead <laughs> bobcat in my house. Please. <laughs> <come> <laughs> <to> <laughs> <her>. <laughs> Eating. Laura comes in with that fucking <laughs> hat on, like, with a net. I, I got it. it. I'm my eyes are literally watering. I cannot. Laura, no, that's, that's you are pit. too much. I that's know. definitely a pit. I know. I know. That's a good thing, though. But the pit is, yeah, a dead. I mean, dead animals, it's not animal. cute. My cats, they're wild. But I know, I've, and, I've, and I've seen, like, they, they, like, trapped a rat somewhere that they're oh, trying they're to get fine. it out. They're, they're like, savages. Like, all of it. Like, they're savages. I, that's what cats I are. Was, like, a cartoon thing. I didn't know cat it's and mice real. was like a real thing. It oh, is. I no cat pets. and cat. I no pets. Don't do it. I, I don't. I have four huge mistakes. No, you, you know. love them. Well, you don't want Take more that than two. back. Yeah, I think, but than having two. four is probably intense. I think having four is a lot. Ooh. They're four cats? Every, they're fucking everywhere. They really are. They're coming out of your seams. Yeah. Wow. Literally. Over the house. There's bursting. a cat just flying out everywhere. Dang. Cat. Cat, so cats are cute though. They are very, very cute. cats. And but like, <laughs> if you're a cat home. listening, shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to cats. You. Like this video if you're a cat. <laughs> Hit the comment. If you're a dog, dislike it. <laughs> dog put like thumbs down. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break real quick, and, and then we'll be back for my peak and pit. Years. Okay. Okay. We're we'll taking a quick right break. Back. Be right back. Thank you so much to Flex for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. Guys, our periods come every month. And for me, what I look for in period care is longevity, leak protection. And I think it's a bonus if the products can be eco-friendly. These are things that are important to me. These are things that I look for in it. And so I have to tell you guys about Flex. It is a period product that looks out for your body, your lifestyle, and the planet. So total win there. Be sure to check it out. So they have... They're period products that are easy to use. They are body safe and they're made for all day comfort. They also have the Flex Disc, which is a single use menstrual disc that can be worn up to 12 hours and holds as much as three super tampons, guys. So it's really good. They also have the Flex Cup, which is different from the disc. The cup is reusable, a menstrual cup. It's ranked number one by Cosmo in 2020. So really amazing stuff there. I really love their products. I also especially love that they're eco-friendly. It really checks all the boxes. They also have helpful in-depth videos on using their products for you guys to check out. But what's so great about today is they're giving you guys an amazing deal. Say goodbye to cramps. Put sex back on the table and lend Mother Nature a hand with Flex. You can do it all. Go to flexfits.com slash fool and use code fool for 20% off Flex Disc Starter Kits or 10% off your first Flex Cup plus free US shipping. That's code fool to save on Flex at flex, F-L-E-X, fits.com slash fool. And we're back. We're back. We're back. 
we're freaking motherfucking back. Hey. Okay, guys, so I should I, I do my peak and pit. Let's hear it. Okay, so my peak and pit. Okay, so I've still been, you guys, I've still been talking to the same guy mm. that I've been talking to. I'm oh. like dating someone kind of. Yes. Talking, dating, yes. like that vibe. I love it. We've gone on four dates and that's a lot for me. Yeah, I have like a three day curse. Lot. He has a three-day curse. I have like where it's like oh, I'll go on like three dates no. and I'm like I'm over it. And I learned via the podcast that you've never had a boyfriend. Never had like a long-term boyfriend. That's I've crazy. dated, of course, but I've never had a long-term boyfriend where I'm like, oh, like in I love you, you're my boyfriend. Yeah, never been in a relationship in that oh. way. You must um, be picky. He I am. is. Yeah, I am. he is. I saw. I yeah, I, I saw that that discussion. No, definitely, I definitely am picky. But I've gone to the point now where it's like I don't. I'm not even mad about me being picky. Yeah. I used to be more like, why am I so picky? But now I'm like, well, I feel like I have a lot to offer. You do. And you. I'm a good person. You and are. like, I have a great family and great friends. Like, if I'm gonna, I'm bringing a lot to your life. Yeah. I want that level to me as well. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it's like I don't want to be like. I'm like babying someone in a relationship either. Yeah. I'm like, no, like I want it to be like an equal ground almost. I get it. So that's kind of why I feel like I'm at right now. But we went on like four dates. He just left actually back home yesterday. So that's oh. like he my pit. Live here. So that's my pit. He doesn't live here. He just went back home. So I'm like, oh my God, that's so freaking annoying. But we ended up going and like having like this like cute little date. We went and got like sandwiches together, hung out in his car for like three hours. Did that you was kiss? my peak. We did. Oh. We did. Yeah. We kissed. And I love kissing okay. you. <laughs> exactly. So, but the thing is, I was, so we haven't gotten sandwiches. I've never been to Fat Sal's before in my whole life. Me either. It's I've like this like, sandwich place. place. Yeah, I've heard of that place. But I didn't realize that they literally have like chicken tenders, like Whoa. fries. Like they have like really On intense stuff in the sandwich. What the? It's like fries and tenders okay, and like hash browns. Yeah, I, just and I'm like, I just need a little smoked turkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it it has, it has like buffalo sauce in it. Like it's like so okay, much. I'm stuff. not gonna say no to buffalo sauce. It was so good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna no lie. It was honestly so fire. I was I had a great time. But the thing is, I loved eating oh, it. Didn't good. love when it left. My body <gasps> got you good, didn't it? It got me good leaving. That was one of my. That other was trauma. Pits yesterday, that was too. my pit. Oh, I, it was bad. It was. I was like, you know, when you're praying. <gasps> it was Papa John's. No, oh. it was bad. Pizza. Papa John's has never betrayed me like that. Pizza will but get it got me you good. Sometimes it got me. Was it the cheese? No, I don't no, eat cheese. I don't eat cheese on pizza. Oh god, 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 I don't know what. And I get the same combo. I go right into Postmates, reorder. I get the you know same it. it's combo. Like boom, boom. And I was eating it, and I was like, "Some tastes a little different." <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no. But I know I'm really this hungry. meal well. And I just kept, I just kept going, and then <sighs> immediately, like my body always no, passes immediately. Knew. Ten minutes later, no, we didn't. And it progressively went from like, okay, time to you know relieve myself. <laughs> yes. To no, no, I, I think I might be here for a while. Oh god, it was bad. It I thought I was gonna you. go up. <gasps> yeah, I got a double. I for, I for sure think it was food poisoning. Oh yeah, oh, for it's sure. Really I think like you're gonna throw up. Most yeah, I for sure. It was like I get really, really hot. My head is pounding. <gasps> yes, oh. it was sweaty. Bad. I get sweaty. I get really, really, really that sounds sweaty. like food poisoning. It was yeah. really, really bad. But oh my god, ten minutes on the toilet, nothing that can fix. And a little kombucha. Drink kombucha. Oh, kombucha you're Whenever right. you get, and that helps, helps like with your. That? Yeah, it helps like. It helps, it has, like, uh, what it is helps it? you digest. I need to is it like a fungus, right? Kombucha is like a fungus. No, it's a fermented tea. Fermented. There we go. It might be fermented. a fungus too. I, don't know. <laughs> I was like something like that. Remember, Didn't, I was the other night. Laura texted me. She was like, "I need help." I've been praying. Oh, I've been praying. Toilet. It was a praying toilet moment. We got us all having praying toilet moments I mean, this week. It happens. Like, it does. I don't know why I felt like I needed to tell you. What's well, when you were texting about something? And then you're like, <laughs> "I'm on the too. toilet." I will by the literally way. tell her, "Girl, I'm really regular this week. Like, how you feeling? Like, I'm <laughs> how's your house about? How's the look when you turn around? <laughs> So what, what color is she looking like today? Oh, yeah, solid. That's adult What's happening? You That's to, adult. You need to know the colors, the shades. Yes. You do, though, you need to, to make sure you're good. I told him the promises I made to God if he yep. would help me through the situation. Yep. I was Dude, like, I, been... I swear I won't drink anymore. Like that. I be making promises to God when I'm on the toilet when they're bad. Yeah. Like, that kind I, of pain. It's like, pain. I'm like, I swear I'll it's never bad. have sex again. Like It's, it's like very crippling. that. It is. It is. And you can't bad. touch it or grab it. And it was multiple times. Oh, my God. The sandwich had you... That multiple times. That's Who's why I'm like, I don't think I can now? ever do this uh, again. So are you it was go multiple back, what, times. Like, are you going to go back and eat there? Though? I If I take like some medicine before, I'm maybe down. some Imodium before, <laughs> I might have to do it because it was so fucking good. What'd you get? But I was unwell. Like, it was like the like, the like buffalo ch sandwich. Oh, okay. that's. What you probably mean. just got a bad one. I might have gotten a bad one because it was like, that was like three times after I had to be on the oh, toilet. Geez. And it was like not fun. It was at the pit? <gasps> that was my pit. And then your wow the peak was the sandwich. It was the pit was the sandwich situation, and my peak was hanging out with them. Yeah, the date. Damn. That's romance, right there. But it was there. it was deadly. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I felt sick. Wait, sick. Laura, you have a loop in your hair, like a, a loop? Loop. It's my hair. You know how like when your hair? No, no, no. It's a 
Manny, you might be able to Is catch it, it. Let me see. You see that? I see there a lube. Yeah. It's the cutest lube I've ever seen. There you go. Keep pulling. Oh my god, that Thank was you. so adorable. It was kind of cute though. I was like, we should have kept it in the whole time. But I would have been so annoyed oh, if yeah. I did all that filming. And you're like, really? A loop? I hate that. But also, Me there's too. no way they could see it from this now, angle. Yeah, like, exactly. No but they can see it right here. Yeah, yeah that one. They're like, uh huh. Right a loop here. like this. <laughs> okay, so actually, Always I want to ask you a question of like how you started in yeah. the beauty space and the beauty community, like. When did this like even start off for you? How did it like go? Like when did you even start loving beauty in the first place? Okay, so I've been loving beauty long before YouTube, and okay. the beauty guru era started. Mm -hmm. But I really started really having an appreciation for makeup, I would say as early as like, like 12, 13. Like I would wow. like see oh. pictures of my mom and mm -hmm. I'd be like, wow. Like I just, my, my earliest memories of like makeup where I would go through her stuff and she always Aww. had like berry colored lipstick. So she would have like purples, reds. She all, and she would tell me all the time, like Jackie, no matter how horrible your day is, never leave the house without lipstick and Aww. earrings. And she was Aww. very like a minute. She wasn't really a glam girl. Yeah. Okay. But I remember like as a child seeing these pictures of her when she was like younger, like before I was born. Yeah. And she would wear these like really pretty, because this was like the 80s. Okay. She would wear those like duochrome shadows. Yeah. And then oh, I remember yes. like going through her makeup and I would see them and I'd be like, that must have been like what she was like as early as like 11. Mm -hmm. I could wow. make the connection this looks like the same makeup that she's she wearing. wearing. But also, why the hell was you keeping makeup from the 80s? Like, <laughs> it's expired, expiration baby. Inspiration day, expired. baby girl. Why are you saw blue brown pigment in here? I don't know what Thank their you. generation is called, Thank but you. they do that. They, they had do. a lot less. I feel like there was a lot, a lot less, less knowledge about. Oh, for sure. And yeah. also a lot less like, product too, though. Like that too. Now there's like a zillion brands. Wait, and back oh then it was like, God. you got Mac. Yeah. Had Revlon. Like you had like the drugstore ones, but there was Absolutely. not a ton of options. No, mm -hmm. not a lot of options at all. But anyway, I would see these pictures of her and I was like really fascinated, but I was like too shy to wear makeup until okay. like, I would say like senior year of high school. I was like, okay. Okay. Like this is the time. Yes. Ooh, yeah. But when I was a kid, I would like sketch faces and I would sketch. Oh my God. No I would way. draw brows. I would draw. I would like study facial anatomy. Like I was really fascinated with like the shapes of faces and I would draw and sketch. So that's so you kind can of draw. Was, I don't even know if I can draw anymore. I I, I can't draw I my literal life. I haven't drawn since I was probably like 16. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I used to sketch. I used to design clothes. I used to, I designed wow. my prom dress. I drew and designed my Stop. prom dress. And my mom was a seamstress. So she, she <gasps> Oh my God. It. That is so fucking yes. cool. I didn't know so that. So that's how the beauty fascination started. Now, yeah. mind you, this was like, like we said, like back in the day, there was no options. Right. Yes. So basically I pretty much became like the go-to for like my friends, my girlfriend, uh, they don't yeah. have the makeup, they would come right. to me. Yeah. And so then I get to college and this was, okay, so YouTube, what started 2006? Yeah. Yep. So right. around the time that I started college was around the time that YouTube became popular, but I didn't know it yet. I didn't discover YouTube to like four, three, four years later. Okay. Right. So I'm in college and like Mac is like, Super, super popular. It's the uh, thing. But I couldn't Everything. afford Mac. Nope. So back right. in the day, you know what people used to do like me? What? <laughs> I would buy samples of pigment on eBay. <gasps> oh. Do y'all remember that era? Yes. I do. They would sell them for like $3. Yes. And people would buy like the full size pigments. And they would divvy and they out. Mac, last and they you would a long time. God, they they would last me like years. years. Literally. So that's how I like started to like build my little collection. <gasps> Your little kit. My little kit. Wait, that's so fucking wow. small from eBay like pigments. But also kind of sketch i mean it could be sketch <laughs> yes could be times know, are different anthrax and no, 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 times are very different, different. No, sketchy no, like but back then you don't know it. better you don't know anybody and you just don't care like you're just no, like well, you it's, also, it's also ebay yeah. like i'm like i know what i'm getting myself into i'll try it <laughs> <laughs> it's ebay i don't care <laughs> I'm taking my risk. I think it is worth the risk. It, it, it is like, like it's three well, bucks. It was, dude. but also yeah. people weren't as like sketchy. As they were exactly. It was a little people bit more know. like faith based. Like people yes. weren't as weird. Yes. So that was kind of like how I got started, and then three, four years in, 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. I'm living in Hawaii, and this is really when I started to like get obsessed. Like I became obsessed with YouTube because okay, it was just fun. Like yeah. it was just yeah. so cool. And at the time, like I was really unhappy. I was married. I was living in Hawaii mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and my best friend used to just be like, well, all the, like the makeup looks that you do, like why don't you just put them on YouTube? Wow. And I just was not like a camera girl. Like mm -hmm. as a makeup artist, I was so used to being behind the scenes. Yeah. Like, it just never, I never made the connection of like me being the person from the camera. Right. That wasn't how I thought 
at all mm-hmm. like whatsoever so i used to be like girl bye like what do i look like being on youtube girl i think a part of me thought i was like too cool i was just totally like, yeah. you're like i'm the artist behind the I'm camera i'm the artist behind yeah it's not in front of it <laughs> like i couldn't yeah i have up. talent <laughs> But but let's talk about it. Yeah. There was a no, time where I really felt yes, that way. Th- yeah. There was a stigma. Where yeah. I really Especially felt like, like worked at like the counters and stuff like that. If you were a makeup, that, oh, there was a whole honey. like beef. It was like beauty yes. gurus versus professional makeup artists. Especially yep. Mac artists. Oh, girl, honed in specifically the Mac artists. It was as a specific. Mac alumni, uh, alumnus same. is it same. Alumni? same. Are you really? I have a Mac alumni. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. No but I was way. a freelancer. I was a freelancer for a year. I didn't actually get permanent spot. But because I didn't become permanent, I started YouTube. Oh. So honestly, it all like happened for a reason. Because I was trying to become permanent at one store, and they're like, oh, we already had filled the spot. And I was like, I guess I got to start YouTube then. That's crazy. Boom. That's insane. Yeah, I so I'm a Mac alum too. Oh, period. Yeah, but there was, was that like- weird like- There was like this weird thing. Either you, I don't know, it was just like, you were like too cool. Like if you're a makeup artist, like- ugh, Yes. Dude, like it wasn't yeah. taken serious back then. Yeah, it was. No, no, no. But yeah. girl, like, I was just trying to get in where I could fit in time. Right. I was just like bored, yeah. unhappy going through it. And then also like a lot of the stuff that I was seeing back then was like white and Asian. This was like white influencers and mm-hmm. Asian influencers at the time dominated YouTube. Only. Oh yeah. Exclusively. It was like Michelle Fawn. Uh-huh. And yeah, it was really like nobody like darker than tan. Mm-hmm. So yeah. basically what I was doing, not realizing it, is I was like taking the looks and tweaking it for my complexion. Totally. So my friend totally. was like, why don't you show other people how to do that? And yeah. I was just like, Okay, like I guess I don't really really care. Like you put the work in first, and then you can show other people how to do it. Exactly. For me specifically. Yeah. But I wasn't thinking like how. I guess I wasn't thinking how valuable it would be. Yeah. Totally. Totally. I didn't really think anyone cared. But also, this was like makeup wasn't really that popular. No, for black not then. People. No, uh-huh. I think like black girls are more into like natural hair at this time. Yeah. Oh, hair okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. We cared more about our hair. Like it wasn't a thing. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, eh, whatever. So I, I did end up eventually because I was like, well, I don't really have anything else. <laughs> You're like, what else am I gonna do? Like, really? Like, maybe she was right. having money. You're like, like my hair is actually not. fire. Maybe I should go to the next thing. I think guys, I already look good. Do you guys also remember like Spectra days? Spectra. Spectra, Spectra, the, Spectra. The, the, it was like a beauty forum that people used to join when what? they wanted to work for Mac. Oh, I, wait. I don't remember that because I, I didn't work. Yes. I So for, for me, it was like, I was in the time of like watching YouTube videos of like how to get hired on Mac. So I wasn't oh, like okay. Spectra so ones. Spectra walked so that those YouTube run. videos could run. Got it. Before there was YouTube videos about how to get hired at Mac, it was Spectra, Spectra forums about how to get hired at Mac. Got so it. So basically that's kind of how, at first I started uploading my looks on Spectra. Oh, oh I, so you could so upload photos so. and stuff. Yes, you would upload. Genius. <laughs> this is like pictorial day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pic- I remember that. The, the you S you take F. a picture of the base sure. and, and then you take a picture next. swiping the crease. Oh, we've come so it far. It was so peaceful. I remember those well. Mm-hmm. So that was how I was, it was like a bunch of different things happening when I started my YouTube channel. Totally. One, I was showing people how to do looks that, you know, other people weren't really doing on my complexion at the time. Two, I was trying to get hired at Mac. So I was really mm-hmm. on there trying to like kind of build Show. my network. Yes, because to I happen. too was trying to figure out how to get hired at Mac. Three, I got so tired of going to makeup counters and stores. And this was like, you know, where smoky eyes were super popular. Kim K the looks black. super oh, popular. Yes, the Mario like Didavanovic was like, everybody mm. wanted to do makeup like that. And I would go to counters and I'd be like, how do I do this? And they'd be like, oh, that wouldn't look good on you. Like, why don't you try this purple lipstick? And I'd be like, girl, oh. did I ask you for purple lipstick? I said I want a smoky eye. I said I want a new lipstick. <laughs> I want a smoky eye. I like want this. a smoky eye. Didn't I tell you I wanted a new lip? <laughs> so it was like, and it was so, this was so bad, guys. Like, this was a time where, like, I would walk into a counter and they would literally be like, no. And they would like, they would pull products from behind the gondola, the dark shades. They would pull the dark shades from behind Stop. the gondola and stuff them. And they would just stand there and just wait. And they, and then it would be awkward. It would just be yeah. like, so mm. I just got so tired of those experiences. And I was just oh, like, I'm yeah. just going to start learning how to do this stuff myself. Totally. And that's exactly what I, what I did. Mm. And so the reason why there wasn't really like a beauty guru community back because this was 2009. No, yeah. I feel like it didn't really start becoming somewhat of a community until like, yeah, like 2014. 13, 13, 14, I, started 2014. In, I started in 13 and that those were the years were like, the, you connected. it started. It started yes, to finally become somewhat of a community. Mm-hmm. It did. 
and people the Bellamy started events. To... They were starting to have events. I met. I'm not kidding you. The Bellamy, the Bellamy event. I met, I met you. I met so oh many people God. at the Bellamy event. Yeah. And like that's like where it was like for the first time meeting people like in the same community. Like yeah. events were starting to mm-hmm. become a thing. Do y'all remember the motives? Parties I and know exactly I what you're sure talking about. Do y'all remember like that? the Florida I and sure stuff. Did. I never was part of it, I but I know what you're talking about. I went on one. Did, were we on the same one, Jackie? I think we were. Yeah. Did Patrick I was on meet there. You there? I could have. Oh my God, like back in 2014. <gasps> or was it the pure trip? I feel like the motive one was before the pure trip. No, it was trip. definitely it was before. Okay, we so were Modus, both on the boat one. Modus for sure has to have been my first brand trip. It has to have been. Yeah. Same. Because I can't think of a single thing that I did before then. And then I think the pure trips came after. And then I think Jouet. Yeah. I think that was it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And we met on Damn, the motive. Just I think we just figured it out. Wow. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. I, I love know. That. That's sickening. That's so wild that like I feel was was am I crazy or was motives like an MLM? What's an MLM again? An MLM is like a multi-level I marketing. Oh yeah. Thank they, you. What? They were shops. What? So the owners of Motives owned shop.com and they were like multi, multi, multi millionaires for it. owning that. And that was just like her side gig. Oh, okay. Motives was the side uh-huh. gig. Yep. So I remember people selling Motives. Shop.com. I thought it was e-commerce. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know about the whole recruit. I don't Mm-mm. think it was. It wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, yeah, so no, it wasn't. I don't think it so was, wasn't actually. An MLM, it was no. like a very okay. wealthy woman who had created and her husband shop.com. And then they that was like her. She wanted yeah. a makeup line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's actually like really cool that they just made that happen. Yeah. It huge. It's like labs nowadays. Like cosmetic yeah. labs. Like, we want to have a makeup line too. Yeah. And the lab has a makeup line. It's like yeah. that. Oh, yeah, they yeah. do. Huh? They do that. I mean, they literally do that. It's a smart business move, but. Okay, wait. Can I ask you what's your favorite social media app? There's so many now. Oh, yeah. God. Like, if, if that you had to delete them all but one. Ooh. Think about business wise, too. <sighs> That's tough. I'll say mine. I don't know if I know. Well, mine right now is TikTok. Same. Okay. As like your, your personal I think favorite so. to use. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, think it's too. TikTok right now. Same. I just think because it's so like. Wow. It reminds me of like what every other app was before it became before, what they are now. Before it was yeah. 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 before the They combined it all. Came all in. the mm-hmm. algorithms. Yeah. And TikTok has the best algorithm too. They kind of do. They, they really do. do. They, they know what they're do. doing. It's so honed in to me. Like I'll it's be scrolling so and I'm like, in. it's literally like, this is what I'm actually interested in. I feel like scary. on Instagram, if I like one thing, I will see that and only that for the rest of my life and it's over. Really? Yeah. yeah like I feel like I'm. it's like so dangerous to like not comment or to comment and like oh. something because like that's it for you. That's yeah. It's like you're only, you're only going to be see. seeing that constantly. Yeah. I mean, my, my algorithm on Instagram is pretty tailored to me. Oh, it's, exactly. like, <laughs> honed, it's like honed in for you. Hey, here, sis, we thought you'd like this. <laughs> and the ads, in fact, like, we've already okay. put it in your cart. They, so. they got me good on them ads. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Me I was just saying too. it'll be like six in the morning. I'll be in my bed ordering a $200 dress. And I'm like, what the, the fuck t- the am I doing? Tab. I know. I know. Deadly. It clocks the hell out of me. It's me deadly. Too. But like also like but like realistically, if you had TikTok for the rest of your life, do you feel like it would be beneficial for your brand too? No. No, right? I don't think so. I don't think so either. But also as a consumer, I do think Instagram is kind of doing it for us. Instagram is doing it. Instagram puts me onto so many brands. Yeah. Instagram. YouTube too. Definitely YouTube YouTube too for me. In the ads? No, the um for my brand. For my brand. Oh, for your brand. For my brand itself. Like definitely like YouTube would be like my biggest, I would say. Same. I'm taking a break from YouTube right now. Are you? You're just like I'm kind of a little little hiatus. I'm I'm going to come back. Back when I have something steady to give, like I'm mm-hmm. not just gonna upload. I'm not just. Gonna do you feel like is it, like do you think it's gonna be doing it for so long that you're like I need like a little break? Maybe. Yeah. I think this is like the first time I've taken like a real break. Yeah. yeah. How does it feel? But I'm not really taking a How break because I'm going everywhere else. I know. I know. It's so true. Like, you're right. It's not really. A, it's not even. A, it's, it's not, not even a, a purge. Break. Yeah. It's, it's like not you're gonna purge. do the same amount of work, but you're gonna expand that work into exactly all, mm-hmm. all yeah, your other exactly. avenues. You gotta be everywhere else. Yep. You, you, you have to be like your eggs in one basket. And in, in this day and age. Well, I yeah, recently no. did the Galentine's event with a smaller yes, creators yes. specifically that I yeah. wanted to give advice honestly to. I wish someone did that for us. Yeah. I know. But they no one they couldn't have they couldn't have we were like the first one. Yeah. So I'm like, why not take they? everything? Let me help you out some mistakes. But anyways, they're like, should I be up? I'm like, what are you doing? Same. Like, you have Same. to upload on every platform. I know. You, it's not like Instagram baddie makes it anymore. It's, yeah. you know, no. you got to expand yourself through all the platforms if you want to do this thing. I it's agree. actually kind of shocking. Like, 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 I'll get asked that all the time, too. Like, like, how do you do it? And I'm like, I don't know. 
don't like, either. I was like, nowadays, I how? The, how? I uh, all I either. know t- what to do is that like being on all the platforms is so important to like for different avenues of what you do. Like, I mean, us even starting the podcast too. Like, that's another platform for us. It yeah. is. It's like YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, podcasting. It's like being on everything so that you can kind of like find your niche of what you love to do. Yeah. But it's like that's how you also be seen. That's how you grow. Like you have to be on everything else. Like you can't. I feel like nowadays it's so hard to blow up unless you're blowing up on TikTok first. And like dead ass, like where are you blowing up else? And the girls can't just be pretty on TikTok. Oh, yeah, no, you kind of have to do to, something. It doesn't work the same way no. though on Instagram. No. Slap on a cute filter, honey, and just give a you know booty poke. And no, it's not. Girl, no, you have to like bring something. You have to. Ha- you have to make something. it work. You have mm-hmm. to bring something to TikTok, you and then even funny, just having a lot of followers, entertaining on YouTube does not. Nope. Oh cross no! Over to it doesn't. TikTok automatically. And actually, not. TikTokers have a hard time crossing over to YouTube. They do because I know they. Yes. have a really hard time doing it. I yes. noticed their I noticed channels. It. I get people ask, people ask me about it all the time. They're like, "How do you like what I do with YouTube?" And I'm like, "Girl, I don't know. It like, you used built to your not be like that." I know you built yeah. your entire audience off of short form content. Yeah, so oh. you're gonna have to basically, in a way, start over whenever YouTube. Like, he doesn't True. cross over. Mm-hmm. True. Which so, is kind I of never thought of it that wild. Way. I, I thought it was always the other way around that. YouTubers had a harder time. I think that because YouTube, like I think YouTube has this like, there's a very specific like niche with YouTube where it's like people like are there for your like longer form of content so right. they feel more attachment to you in a way. Mm-hmm. Whereas TikTok, you could literally be like a popular TikToker and like no one knows who you are. Yeah. Where it's like if Which you're like yeah, a big cool. on you, yeah, no, it's yeah. cool. I love that. But it's yeah. like harder for them to transition into YouTube because it's like they're not. The, the people aren't used to seeing that longer form content. Right. Mm-hmm. But that's why it's like, if you're a YouTuber, popular YouTuber, you should be on all the platforms. True. Yeah. Because that's what they're used to seeing. And so if you're doing funny short form content, that's like, oh, it's different. Yeah. Which let's talk about the fact that like, if you can make it on YouTube, you're good. Because we, can we, get a we paved, let's just talk about it's it. true. Yep. Keeping people engaged for longer than five minutes is not as easy as y'all think it is. No, not oh, People find that out real quick when they real talk on quick. the app. Real mm. quick, honey. So put some respect on these YouTubers, honey. No, it's like, so I'm true. gonna tell you this right now. I connect, so this industry's big out here in LA specifically, the beauty guru world, it's big. Right. Mm. I connect more and relate more with people, you, you, and a handful of others that are YouTubers, not IG people. We do both. I think it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But YouTubers, because that has always been my bread and butter, yours, how we all started. And like, exactly. that's what we put all our time and work into versus people. Then there's the group that did the Instagram and right. like yep. posted, which I mean, we did both and maybe they uploaded occasionally, but it's like, you know what like your app is. Yeah. And so I always like, oddly enough, connected with the YouTubers, but I'll tell you, the YouTubers are a little different. I don't know what mm-hmm. to put on it. Why do you the think? Spi- there's like a little spice to there's it. There's a kick. But when it, Instagrammers that specifically are like mostly on Instagram and that's their biggest platform, mm-hmm. they definitely have just as much personality, but I feel like YouTubers, I don't want to use the word braver, but like they're just more like open and it's because they put themselves out there with these unfiltered mm. videos. Oh, because it's yep. video. It's yeah. video. We've I mean, been on yeah. camera. That's, We've that's been true. stupid. We've done all the things mm-hmm. and like put ourselves out there. Whereas Instagram is such a like filtered it's guarded. Aesthetic. It's like, you can it's still aesthetic. be guarded on Instagram. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. Which is a good thing I think mm-hmm. also because yeah. a lot of influencers have like social anxiety. Yeah. yeah. So they have a hard time connect like back in the day and then starting when YouTube when I started like you're talking to a camera by yourself. What the hell is that wrong was with you? Yep. Here is my therapist's number. No, literally, uh-huh. it was, it was like psychotic. Need help. It yep. was literally yeah. unhanged behavior. Yeah. No, it was. Yep. Like, you need so therapy. You can- mm-hmm. <laughs> it's true. I still it's need true. therapy. I, even me, I'm like, sometimes, I'm not kidding you. I'll have like one of those moments where I detach what I'm doing and I'm in my room and I'm filming to a camera talking and I'm like, not being extra to you right now when I'm not talking to anyone. As if I'm literally, t- like, I'm talking to a fucking camera as if it's a human being. And I'm like, yes, bitch, and I'm like, you're not real. No one's here. You're no not one's here. here. It's no like one. It's, I, I detach and I'm like, am I okay? <laughs> and I'm like, this is why I'm a YouTuber. I can film so a YouTube okay. video in my sleep. Me too. Same. Me too. Hey I guys, still welcome can. Welcome back to my channel. What are we doing today? Like, you know, literally. You don't unlearn that. You yeah. don't. You don't unlearn it's that. It's in your no, you DNA. Yeah. <laughs> it's a but it is it. harder. It is harder. Mm-hmm. It, it is, is harder, harder because you're, you're talking to basically a camera. Mm-hmm. But like, and no by yourself. It's actually people. And you have to keep the conversation engaged, even though you're not really having a conversation because you're by yourself. Then you have That's to make so sure you're in about. focus. You have to make sure you're not gray because of the lighting. Mm-hmm. Right, right. It ain't easy. Um, Tyler said being a YouTuber, a good YouTuber, is being able to hold a really good conversation with yourself. Oh, I'm good at that. See? 
oh i'm good at that i think we, I think we all are actually truth, yeah i think I'm we all are that. like that's literally what we do as a youtuber crazy. exactly we're crazy we're crazy, we're, crazy. we're talking to ourselves we're literally like there's this me of this woman like on the bus and she's like not all there and she's talking to she's like <laughs> and like the, the camera oh, pans to it period and it's no and there's one there, no one there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, but like, at the same time she said what she said <laughs> like i felt that and i was like oh i agree i agree like points were made like you heard her so we do that every day exactly Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back on that psychotic note. Thank you so much to Parade for partnering with us in this portion of full coverage. You guys, soft, cozy, and sustainable. Three words I usually don't use when describing my underwear, but that all changed when I tried Parade. Parade makes sustainable, creative basics so soft and comfortable that you can't wait to put them on. You guys, this company actually launched only two and a half years ago with the mission to make underwear more accessible, inclusive, and self-expressive. Since then, they sold over 2 million pairs. That's a lot of pairs of underwear. I just got in some items from Parade. I got their triangle bralette. It's very, very soft material. I love wearing it around the house. I wear it all day long. I also got some really cute mesh bodysuits that they had on there that I'm going to make super chic. I love this website. They have items from extra small to triple extra large. Parade is size inclusive. And for every Parade purchase you make, they give back to organizations that support reproductive rights, racial equality, and LGBTQ plus communities. Upgrade your top drawer with an exclusive 20% off parade. Go to yourparade.com slash fool and use code F-O-O-L fool to get 20% off. That's yourparade.com slash fool. Okay, guys, and we're back with the psycho babble that we're about to talk about. Um, but I want to know, this is what I really want to know. We do this, I feel like every time we have a guest, this is we the have we to ask them. best and worst brand experience. And you don't have to <gasps> say brand names. You don't have to spill any names. Because we don't spill names, but mm -hmm. we do spill the tea. But we do spill, but we do spill, spill the, the tea. tea. And so we have to know your best brand experience where you're like, oh my God, this is actually incredible. Or one you just enjoyed a lot. Or one you loved. And then like one of the worst ones where you're like, what the fuck just happened? Well. It could be literally a collab. <laughs> it could be literally I, anything. Ooh. Literally, literally. Okay, best and worst. You can start with best mm. first, and that's easier too. She's like, let me ponder. I, I thought really we were doing hard. a brand trip. I don't know oh, why I thought too. you said brand trip. Oh, we okay, do, yeah, okay. okay I mean, literally, it's literally anything brand anything trip experience, brand. any brand related. I'm gonna keep it very vague because I know people like to investigate. Dig tussle. I, I know, know people, people like to tussle. I know people like to tussle, and I know people <laughs> also like to investigate. So I'm gonna keep it very vague. Yes. But I went on a trip that let's She went on a trip, y'all. She went on a trip. Huh? I'm like, she went on a trip? <laughs> Word, let's investigate. <laughs> it was a trip, but I've been on a lot of trips. So. Mm, Good, mm, luck. Good luck. Good luck finding this one. Let's just say it wasn't as accommodating as mm. what we're typically used to. Got it. And I know what you're gonna say. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say, the, you know why? The reason why I'm not gonna say too much is because the first thing, if I tell the story of like what really happened, they're gonna know. They're gonna, not only that, but they're gonna be like, oh, YouTuber didn't get to stay uh, in my uh, uh, hotel. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so, what motel did you say? It that? Was <laughs> <laughs> Which crack motel did you say? I would like to know. <laughs> it was unlike anything no. I can describe to you. It was. It was pretty bad. It was, it was bad. bad. Like it was like the, like the, the accommodations, bad. like everything was just not it good. It was just bad. It was bad. It was it was bad. And I'm not even saying like bad in comparison to. It was just like not good. Ob it was just objectively like the average in person would not enjoy the experience. <laughs> I know what you're talking about because we were at were you guys on the Christina's. Same trip? No, but we were at Christina's. Did I tell that story? So I it was the bad. look in your eye. Yeah. Like, I know you knew she's you knew but exactly. I know that if you tell, I agree. Yeah, it'll be, I, it'll, it'll be too obvious. It's gonna be. It'll I mean, be I don't mind laughing at it now. Right, of course. But it was. Um, well, first of all. Um, Coins was cute, and I don't typically get paid for trips. Oh, like, no, I, I don't think I've ever got. I don't typically get paid for trips, so it was like tied into a um, brand deal. 
It was like tied into a deal. Mm. So that's nice. And it was a great. So I was like, oh, cool. Like, yeah, I'll go. Yeah. And it didn't turn out to be what I had hoped. And the whole time, I just was laying in bed like, thank God they paid me. 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 You'll laugh no. at this later. You'll laugh at this later. And you can funny. now. I mean, I laughed. But it was trauma. Then. No, <laughs> it was, it was trauma. a lot. It was like not okay. Like it was just not okay. But it was at the end of the day, it was, you know, it is what it is. It, it is what it, it happened. It's not it happened. the worst happened. thing I've ever experienced, but it definitely was one of those things where like, had I known this is what I was, what I was signing up for. It wouldn't have would happened. It would have been a no Absolutely. Yeah. Would, it wouldn't have been worth the money for me personally. Oof. I can't wait for you to tell me after that we could turn this time around. When I show you pictures. <laughs> You already know, so I'm over here Trauma. like. Trauma. <laughs> when I show you pictures. So that was no. probably the worst. The worst, yeah. Um, what about when you're best? What am I best? Whether it's a brand trip or brand experience, I mean, anything. I have so many, like. That were good. Peak career moments. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. so great. Mm -hmm. Especially doing what, like, what I represent. Like, I, yeah. I feel like much of my success as a beauty influencer was, like, not supposed to happen for people like me. Yeah. So it just right. feels great being here. Like, I totally. don't know. I've had so many. Like I loved working with Anastasia. I loved oh, working with Face. Awesome. Yes, I've literally had so many career highs. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, like that all the time was like was being a boy. You came out with that eyeshadow palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yes. Really huge career moment because yes. they don't collab with a lot of people. I know. They don't give out collabs. Yeah, so that was huge mm -hmm. for you. And you said it was a great experience. It was. It was a beautiful. So it was palette. great. It was, it was awesome. Fun. And the yeah. palette was stunning. Creatively, like I just had full control. They just kind of oh, let wow. me do what I want. See, that's it was amazing. it was great. That's the way it should, brands take notes. And honestly, Literally. it's true. Like let them notes. have free yeah. reign. That's Truly. Really let people cool. do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, like anyway. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've had like I've had good and brand bad brand experiences for Same. sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like collab wise, not even just like mm, brand collabbing. experiences. Like even collab wise, I've had good and bad experiences. So I'm like, yeah, I can definitely I ain't go no more. one way or another. I mean, it gets to a point where it's like, okay, I've closed this chapter now. No, totally. For me, yeah. like, I've already told people, like, I'm not doing any more beauty collabs. Like, yeah, I feel no, like I've like already a, done. You, you, you checked, checked your, every you box. You checked your list. You know? Yeah. That's what I feel, too. I feel like it's definitely, not that we've evolved from it, that we're better than it, but it's just like we've kind of all done it. Yeah, yeah and now, exactly. Which is we're what doing. we're going to be talking about next. Yes. We've kind of evolved into our own projects, Forever Mood. Yes. Ooh. How did that even come to be? Like, where did, like... Wait, I mean, today, oh my God, we're literally freaking we burning. New money. That's one of my favorites, which that's coming back home with me. I brought that from my house. And you love new here. money? Yes. I've seen Clean. the perfumes that you wear it's and the not, other. It's not the perfumes I wear. I know it's so different. It's a little different. It is. Okay, okay. But I just like how, especially how clean it is. It's coconutty. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. It's sort fresh. of uh, a salty. So this came out in my birthday collection last year. Mm -hmm. Forever Moon, my candle brand. Oh. Don't have, you don't have this one anymore. There. Um, I don't know if you can buy. It. I don't think I you think can you purchase can. it now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have you to guys will love the that. candles, anyways. Real quick, tell us where we can buy them, and then I want to talk about actual Forever Mood. Yes. Yeah, so our website forevermood.com mm -hmm. and Sephora US and Canada in store and online. Well, good luck if you can love get them in store because yeah, the luck. racks are empty. They're bare. Yeah, they're they're they all are. Yeah. I, I love I know. that. That's amazing. I know. That's like That's every awesome. brand That's founder's a dream. That's a dream. It is because it's, I think, awesome. well, I know Anastasia, I mean, Anastasia, I know Sephora like kind of had candles, but I literally think they created a candle department for you. No, literally. <laughs> like, no, they, they, they you know what they did. actually, I think it was just like right time, like their candle yeah. department, it was a little bit lesser. It was sort of taking a backseat. They so had like diffusers and stuff. It was definitely stuff. a backseat. Yeah, they weren't like really yeah. pushing it, but no. then quarantine happened and everybody's at home and we're all like, what the hell we gonna do now? Like, yeah. We don't need what lip What the gloss. hell we gonna do now? Yeah, yeah. we're at home. We need we're something for the home. house. We're at home. So yeah, that's how the brand, well, the no, the brand didn't start because of quarantine. The brand was a long time coming. I've always loved yeah. scent, yes. fragrance. Yes, yes. Yeah. Your fragrance scent collection, especially. your perfume collection. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's, Ooh, it's a lot. Oof, I'm going oof, through oof, that one it's day. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome. Yeah. No, literally. I got I wanna, literally like, something for like every, like guaranteed, no matter what fragrance family you like, you visit my house, you're going to find something. Oh, I believe that. I'm a, fra like. I I'm a fragrance you. fanatic she is too. and I get real excited. Me too. Mm -hmm. I just love the way it makes you feel. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, especially when you're at home. Like, it's almost like a treat in a way. It is mm -hmm. a treat. I get home, I light my candles. I wake up Ooh, in the morning, the too. first thing I do is I, I light, light my candles. My, I trim that wick. I trim like that wick. Yeah. Oh, so you know what time it is. I know. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Doing uh -huh. the maintenance. She knows. Yep. Trim that wick. wick. Trim your wicks, people. Trim your wicks. You don't want the black important. smoke. You don't want the black smoke. 
You're inhaling all that? Yep. It's going to stain your Trim fixtures your, and your furniture. The ceiling Trim eventually. Yo. You heard it here first. You heard it here from a candle wizard. Yep. Wizard. A literal candle <laughs> wizard. Trim your wits. Yep. You heard it here first. Yep. Yes. Gryffindor wizard. <laughs> 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 okay. So, so then like it was a long time coming. Yes. And so now you guys are, are you guys planning on expanding more than being in Sephora too? Or is it like kind of like seeing mm, what the vibe so is? I'm very strategic with yes. like, uh, Retail partnerships because totally. I feel like why would I without saying too too much but like yeah. of course we love Sephora it makes sense for the product it makes also it makes also makes a lot of sense for like the consumer like the Forever Mood mm -hmm. customer and smell it in person the Forever Mood girl mm -hmm. no I mean just like the mm -hmm. Sephora the type of customers that yes. they attract yes it's different from sometimes other retailers right like they have their own customer profile mm -hmm. right and so. I'm like, well, if we're in Sephora, like, why would we go into another place that would potentially compete? Like, if they, if the same customer wants a Sephora product, they'll just go to Sephora. To get yeah, totally. So, totally. like, if we were to expand other retailers, it would be like non-competitive. Totally. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah. like, overseas, so like other countries, like the UK. My poor Europe. Our poor Europe customers right. are paying a boatload oh. for shipping. Yeah, we're working yeah. on international partners. We're it's trying, so hard. It's but it's so hard. hard. It's hard. It takes time. And then you guys are slightly unique. You guys have beauty brands. Candles are heavier, and then oh, the glass yeah. can oh, break. God, oh, yeah. Temperatures, yes. so shipping Melting. with temperatures, things melt. So there's a whole different set of. Yeah, you just um, gotta distribute from over there. Almost. Exactly, like, literally. Exactly. That's, that's what we're working on now. Yeah, yeah. It's it, and we're still operating at the level of a small business, so we yeah, have right. to like figure out how to do that like and then how can we afford it and then you yeah. know like how can we expand without stretching too much yes. for yes. what we're doing domestic so. without literally clearing your entire yeah. account clearing, yeah. <laughs> trying to like, pay for the fucking POs and, and then shit. not be, being able to afford to launch anything else after that exactly exactly until so you have to wait till the launch happens and you're like exactly. okay I got money again it gets really else. tricky when a small business is doing big business sales yeah. it's, it gets dude, really really very, tricky I wish I wish it's, knew. it's I wish so hard knew. yeah because the thing not, is it's like growing pains it is it's almost like a great problem it's a great problem but it's still a problem but it's it creates it's way more problems when you're moving that mass of stuff at a small business capacity because mm -hmm. you didn't have that time to learn baby steps right. and grow. It just boom. Exactly. And you're like, and like what do you do? And you're yeah. like, shit. And you're shit. It's a great problem. Exactly. But it is a great problem. And then, you know, the thing is with the factories, like similar to the beauty like industry, mm -hmm. um, you know how sometimes you try to go to a factory, you're like, hey, we want to do this lipstick with you. And they're like, who are you? Why do we yes. care? Yep. Can you? Do uh, like three hundred thousand p like oh, however many units care. you want. Yeah, yeah, and it's like we are because we're still operating in a small business, but we sell large. We sell arguably more than the average, average. small startup. Absolutely, uh -huh. they don't necessarily like see you the same. Like if you're unless you're operating so at For the sure. level of like a huge, huge, huge competitor, mm -hmm. they're gonna be like, we don't care. Like, what do you and mean? Yeah, we literally don't care. It's weird. They're, I'm gonna say like influencer stuff is like a niche in the, in the middle of its own. Like it's a niche. It's in not its own. like baby startup where it's like you're ordering a hundred units, right? But it's not a conglomerate that's ordering hundreds of thousands of units. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's like this weird middle, and you have to like find these labs that are okay with you being in the middle. And there's not a lot of labs that meet that middle point. No, yeah. right, right. There's just not. There isn't. At a reasonable cost, mm -hmm. right? You know? See, that's the thing is they always want to charge more because you're not ordering higher you're not units. Order hiring you. It's so not it's like worth it for it's them. not worth it for them. So they're like, oh, we're gonna charge you a dollar more for the amount of units. I'm like, why? I, yeah. I wish people knew this kind of stuff though. Yeah. I know. And then on top of that, like, I want to pay my employees yeah. little wage. No, right. literally that. On top we, of that, we. Have, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I can't compete with like a ten dollar candle. I just can't. I no, cannot no, of operate not. that low. Like, right. But most of our like most of our customers like they're pretty chill about and it. And they understand too. They completely understand. Like, we they're don't like we get. They don't it. give us a hard time about it for the right. most part. Okay, good enough. But there awesome. are for sure people who've been like, "Why are candles so expensive?" It's like, do y'all know what it takes to? People make don't. I don't know. That. I appreciate. Know. I don't mind paying a little bit more yeah. for a nice candle. Uh, I genuinely enjoy them. They're also decor in the home as yeah. well as exactly. something to and actually enjoy. So like, I genuinely. But your candles, we're talking them up. They're not outrageous. Like they're not like a hundred dollars. No, they're, they're not. They're, they're, not, they're, not, like, they're like little lava candles. Yeah, like, they're not I crazy. Like your yeah, but when you're an influencer, are, I think people have this like. They you do. Be humble. They you should like do. Start off at twenty dollars for the little guy. It's like. Like, well, 
I would love to, but but we can't scale no up like that either, way. though. Yeah, like yeah. there's just if there was a way that I knew how to do that, of course I would do that. Right, I'd sell more products if it was cheaper. Yeah. Like, yeah. Of course, on, of yeah. course. We want that's how I feel even with like with the brand too, like even with like palettes or like anything like that. I'm always mm -hmm. like, do I have it priced at what I can right now to like make sure that it covers all the bases? And even exactly. then, I should technically be charging more because of the amount it takes to, for the fill. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm like, but I still don't want to gouge either. And right. a lot of that money made isn't like buying us bags. It goes back no. into the company. Oh God. Oh, just right back in. It goes right back in. It goes right back in. It goes right back in. It's right back it's back cycling in. itself. Yeah. yeah. Until you build that thing up. Exactly. You know what I mean? So exactly. it takes a while for brands to like really be profitable. Oh yeah. I heard it took three years for like usual startup brands to, to make a profit. I was like three years. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say like three to five. Yeah, yeah. Three, it's three to five years. Yeah, I'm not surprised to at all. see a profit because the amount of money you yeah. put into, it, especially if you're self funded, then it's like so exactly. much money gets put into it that you're like, mm -hmm. am I ever getting this money back? You guys were both self funded, we right? Were both mm -hmm. self -funded. Yeah, all of us were. Yeah, I love that for us. It's, it's tough. hard. It's tough. It's fucking hard. And it sometimes I get I get really down on myself for like, and I compare myself to other brands. That are oh, in the yeah. beauty space and other influencers I'm that are not really, self-funded. I will say that I try so hard not to do that because mm -hmm. it's like they do so much and have like the coolest graphics and the sickest photo shoots yeah. and like so many launches. 40 skews in a launch. And I'm just like, you can't even like look at that and be like, oh, because I know. it's like, I know. it's a different game. We're in a whole different game I know. here. Yeah. Like it's not even the same baseball field. You can't compare yourself. I know I can't. I, I can't I compare though. where I don't compete. No, literally, and I say, I'm like, I don't yeah, compete in that category. So it's like, yeah. why it's am like, I why even am doing I that to myself? I'm going to kill myself. So I've kind of backed out of doing that. Like yeah. the more I grow with it. I'm, same. I've gotten like better at it too. I and used to I, be way worse. Used I used to be like, I'm a loser. My brain sucks. Oh my no, god! No, I'm, like, I'm very self-deprecating in that way. Though I'd be like, I'm like doing the best I can. And it's not enough. I yeah. always feel like I'm not doing enough. Yeah. I can't like make enough skews or like, things like you. that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I think that's a very normal like yeah. part of life. It yeah. is, and I think that's a very normal part of being a creator in general. Yeah. Yeah. You just like pour your heart and soul into like each project, and it's like yeah. I don't have a team of a zillion people to help me to do all those things. Yeah. So it's like I'm really honed in and focused on like the one thing I got. I think those thoughts are natural. You just have to kind of like check back in and be yeah. like, whoa, 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 where's this coming from? The inner saboteur. Let's, 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 it, let's yeah. pause, let's slow it down. Mm -hmm. Let's reel it back in, you know? That's yeah. what it is. That's what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Jackie, Dang. it's been so much fun having you. That was a great way to end it off. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Right? It's just like sobering. Like, wow. You're like, like <gasps> and, and namaste. I know. <laughs> and namaste, buy your fucking candles. <laughs> the end. Amen. Amen. No, but is there anything like else that you want to like, plug or anything mm. like that you or got like, anything new talk? coming yeah, any new, any like, new projects candle happening? launches Ooh, i mean well hell yeah I'm you're sure. like of course we do of course i'm really excited about the pipeline of since for this year mm. oh. specifically because when we first launched we were just kind of like before the collection would have to come out, we mm -hmm. would like figure it out and then we launch. Okay. But totally. now we're learning how to like actually you got be a, a year out. Yes. Oh, so we actually yes. are ahead. Like we're yes. now working on like 2023 launches. Oh, got that's it. Amazing. So love it. Love stuff it. Love it. Love that it. like I forgot about is about it's to coming come up. Yes. It's about to come out. I'm just like, oh, I love this one. <laughs> I forgot about this one. <laughs> you're like, oh. <laughs> you get excited all over again. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's true. Because you forget because yes. you're working on the next year. So you're like, you're oh my God, so wait. You're working so far ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also, you know, seasons change. So I burn different things throughout different yeah, seasons. Totally. Right. It's, it's coming into spring. So I'm excited about what we have coming up there. Yeah. And then, also, shout out to my other Instagram page, Lavishly Jackie. Yes. Lavishly yes. Jackie. Yes. All things bougie and luxe and home and lifestyle. That's her TikTok too, y'all. That's pretty much it's a hybrid of Jackie it Anna is, slash Lavishly. Mm -hmm. but I made Aaron watch one of your TikToks. I found very, sorry, see this podcast is never going to end. It never, that's, that's how we do it. <laughs> it was the normal. one where you were like, I'm writing down my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of deep dive into other things. Yeah. And I was, because we were talking about you this morning. So I was like, oh, what? She was like, why are you getting ready? I was like, I'm going to film a podcast. Jackie's coming on. So I was like, um, I want you to watch this. Um, one because it was very touching, and I'm sure it all went over her head because she's 18, and you have to experience more life to like hone Appreciate in on that deepness like that of mm -hmm. it, the deepness of it. But that was a good one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you guys should check out her TikTok. Also, I showed her the one which resonated with her more, where you were unpacking the knife set, and I was like, "Watch this part." <laughs> <laughs> now, why did that resonate with her? I know, right? Right, that was the one. That was the one. I'm like the one she that thinks shit like that's so funny. I, lo I love that. The one yeah. that really resonated so for me was when we dropped it low. Mm. Mm. Oh, that was so that was fucking good. funny. That was good. That was, that was so good. funny. You know, I love that. The 2016 era. Ooh. That was literally trying like, to get our lives that together. That was nostalgia. Yes. <laughs> it was nostalgia. I, I, I have not it. been with in that group of people years. 
Yeah, I have. That's been such a long time. Yeah, know, years is crazy. Kristen and Dominique was, brought us together. Shout out to Kristen. Kristen shout, out shout out to Kristen. Kristen. I know. Please she to listens Kristen. too, so I know she's gonna hear this. Yeah. Like, shout out to Kristen. Shout out to Kristen. It was so good to see you guys. Likewise, it was so nice to see you too. Honestly, it was so much fun. Thank you so much for coming on again. We Thanks appreciate it so much. It was yes. so much fun. Of course, we we'll see you guys blast. in the next episode. We get rate, sub, subscribe, the whole thing, comment. Check out Forever Mood and yeah. Jack or, Yina. or ForeverMood.com. You can also check out Lavish Jackie. Lavishly. Lavishly. Lavish, 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 Lavish Lee. Lavishly. Lavishly. Lavishly Jackie. Or Jackie Ina. She has two. Check them both out. Yes. Yes. We love you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.